So have you ever wanted to sail the high seas, but being shy of a dime? Well today we're going to try to do this on the off bit with a system that cost about a hundred dollary dues. That is the official currency of Australia, if you didn't know. This is the off bit. G'day, welcome back to the Offbit. Today we will be running a Q8400 Core 2 Quad from April 2009 with a front side bus at 1333 MHz on an 8x multiplier. Gets it at 2.6 GHz and based on the Yorkfield 6M architecture, the CPU has a TDP about 95 watts. Today's chosen GPU is the MSI Frozen 3 GTX 570 Fermi base card. We've also thrown in a 128 gig SSD and we're running 4 gig of RAM on the motherboard. All right, we're gonna see how our machine runs Sea of Thieves. So we just bring up the spec sheet for the PC for Sea of Thieves. Now we're aiming for the 720p at 30 frames per second. That's the second bar on the left. Now it's our the operating system to be Windows 10 Anniversary Edition 1607. We're running 1804, so that should be fine. CPU is the Intel Q9450 at 2.6 gigahertz. Okay, we don't have as good CPU, but the Q8400 is pretty similar. I don't think you'll notice much of a difference, and it runs at 2.6 gigahertz. RAM is 4 gig at minimum. We are running two lots of 2 gig of DDR3. So it's in dual channel, so we'll get a little bit more performance out of that, but we do tick that box for 4 gig of RAM. Now, our GPU does support DirectX 11. We have 1.2 gigabytes of VRAM. Now, our GTX 650 is listed here, but we don't have a GTX 650. We're running a GTX 570. Now, the 570 is a generation before, but it is two up in the series. So I'm pretty sure we should be okay with that. So see how we go. Uh, other than that, hard drive, 60 gig, 54K RPM. We're on an SSD. It should smash it. Ah, the tavern. The start of all adventures. Now we spawned in here. Now, just notice a couple of lags here just as it loads textures in. Initial thoughts. Frame rate's actually not too bad. It's quite playable. It's feeling quite smooth. The frame rate is bobbing around between 40 and high 50s. So this is actual gameplay. So it's at 720p. So we just jumped in on an open crew, so this will be fun. Open crew is always fun to see thieves. It's always someone randomly pull the anchor on you or something silly. It's painful. Yeah, just every now and then, just dips, just as it loads in graphics. But other than that, once it's in. Good to Okay, look, this run is great. I could play with this all day. There's just a really good frame rate. It feels, it feels smooth. I know it's not your perfect system, but for a cheap system that's based on gear from 2009, 2012, 
save for. Look, it's great. Now let's just go down what this cost me. Now the motherboard and the CPU cost me about 15 bucks. So it's a Q8400 and the Asus motherboard. Now we also got the RAM. I bought that for 10 bucks. That was two sticks for five dollars each. And the GTX 570, I got that delivered off eBay for 30 bucks. And the SSD, I picked that up brand new for about 30 bucks. You picked that from, you know. Umart, MSY, they're the general Australian shops that you buy this stuff from. Okay, PSU, I got that second hand for two bucks, but you could probably get away with buying something second hand for 30, maybe 40 bucks. But you will need probably about 550 watts. And the GTX 570 does chew a bit of power, and its minimum power supply requirements that I found on the internet was 550 watts so maybe somewhere between 550 watts and 600 watts might be the target for the power supply now do bear in mind i haven't covered buying monitor keyboard mouse or any things like that even a case now you can pick up a lot of this stuff fairly cheap as well so you might get up to 150 bucks maybe maybe even more depending on what gear you buy but you can keep it cheap you don't have to put the computer in a case you can get creative i put mine on a piece of mdf but that's my test rig that's just what i do it's easy to work with it's easy to modify well, that's about it for the off bit today now if you have any comments or anything about sea of thieves and builds that you've done feel free to comment i'll be looking at them now if you like this video don't forget you can like and subscribe Till next time i'll be here waiting for the next video i'll catch you next time on the off bit